is the temple of Saint Sava. And it really reminds you, looking at the outside of this, of the Hagia Sophia, or however you pronounce that, um, over in Turkey. Today in Belgrade, Serbia, at the church of Saint Sava, right behind me. So I've been out here several times before around the uh, periphery of the, the church. They've been building this church. It's an Orthodox church. They've been building it for decades and decades. And as you can see, it's uh, still under construction. So really nice looking place. I'm gonna try to get into the crypts today. I don't know if they're open or not. Um, it looks like there's a way to get in over to the side. So I'm gonna try to get in there, go in, and uh, put it down on some film. So you can see the marble bricks here at the church of St. Sava to where they're laying them out, making the walkway around and about the church. Really magnificent, magnificent architecture. So when you first come through these doors, you're immediately greeted by just amazing painted walls, painted ceilings, um, mosaics, tile work, this incredible chandelier that you see. And then on the top of the ceiling, you see the pictures of Christ you see pictures of the saints, the apostles, and it's just, it's amazing. The Eastern Orthodox, uh, in this case, Serbian Orthodox churches have these just incredible artwork. And out of all the churches that I've ever been to, this one has the, as far as mosaics, tile work, paint, it's absolutely amazing it is just absolutely gorgeous and you can see why it took so long to build this thing and to complete this thing because of all the detailed and intricate artwork that's actually in this building uh, much different than you see with the catholic um, churches back in the west where they have lots of stained glass and the gothic architecture uh, this is a completely different type of architecture and it's it's so beautiful in its own right and so different um, and it really, when you go down here in the crypts, you start getting, you'll see in a minute when we get there, it's almost an overwhelming emotional experience because of how beautiful the ceilings and the walls are and the artwork in it. The location where this building is made is uh, where he is, his, um, it's the presumed location, I guess, of his grave. Now coming in here to this main area downstairs, unfortunately they've got fluorescent lights in so you're going to start seeing a bunch of flashing, but the artwork of all of the saints and the different people is just, it's, it's beautiful. It is so gorgeous. And it's illuminated with, um, I mean, the, I guess it's gold paint. Usually I don't do voiceovers in my videos, but it seems very disrespectful to me to go inside of a church and start talking around since it is a place of worship and although they have tours and stuff going on, it just seems like this is a better format so that I can still do the video. And many of the paintings that you see um, on the ceiling or even on some of the walls are actually telling stories, biblical stories of um, the different parts of the Bible. give you some sort of size comparison. I've been to cathedrals and temples and churches all over the world, and this church is by far in the top three of any place I've ever been. The floors, again, just more artwork.
And again, when you're in there with the human eye, you don't see this blinking. It's the GoPro for some reason with these fluorescent lights uh, picks it up and I didn't even realize it until I'd actually gotten outside and, and watched the video later. I, I went to Notre Dame long before it ever got destroyed in that fire and also into St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. And this is in the top three. Different styles of architecture. Now going back into this area, which is where the main crypt area is, when you first walk through here, the paintings on the ceiling is, is some of the most incredible artwork that I've ever seen. It's a depiction basically of the crucifixion and carrying off and burying Christ's body, and then the story of the resurrection. The camera really doesn't do it justice of how beautiful and how illuminated it is. That was St. Salva's Church. Hopefully the video footage turned out well there. See it in the background. I didn't talk really inside the church. I just took a bunch of B-roll. I'll try to voice that over. It would be, in my opinion, disrespectful to talk about everything while I'm in there. But hopefully the footage will turn out good enough. I can do a little voiceover on it. Hope you guys don't mind. I just, uh, I believe in being respectful in places of worship. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed what was the most beautiful paintings in churches that I've ever seen. And my understanding is this is actually the largest Orthodox church in the entire world. Uh, and definitely at least in Eastern Europe. So, all right, thanks. See you in the next one.